there's our vent pipe in the next door neighbor's backyard. And these guys right here, they're protecting that vent pipe. Oh, boop, 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 boop. Hey, What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Tuesday morning, October 8th, 2024. Driving to my next service call in Arvern. Arvern is a little hamlet or part of Queens County in the city of New York on the Rockaway Peninsula between like Far Rockaway and like Rockaway Beach. Nice little area, up and coming, up and coming area. We have a new residential client that has a 15 year old Lars Endurance natural gas fired combi boiler. She's getting an error of E109 and she needs some help. Let's go see if we can get her up and running because with the right tools, there's nothing that we can't fix. A few moments later. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, I'm Mike Dyack. Here's my card. Oh, thank you. Thank You're you welcome. very much. I had a 50-50 chance of getting the right door. There you go. <laughs> All there right. You go. Um, let's see the boiler. This way. Hello, puppy. Hi. <laughs> right now, it's working. That's a good thing. But, but like I said, after a while, it trips off. Uh, let me see the venting outside. There's our vent pipe in the next door neighbor's backyard. And these guys right here, they're protecting that vent pipe. Hope these guys don't bite. You're gonna have to move away. I'm going in there. Come on, move out of the way. No, oh, okay, you can go. Come on. <laughs> go somewhere else. Let's go. Come on. Come on, move out of the way. Come on. Come on. There you go. And uh, I just want to make sure you can't wiggle it around. It looks pretty solid. All right, let's see if we can get... Let's see. Here we, go. Here we go. Okay. Do we have? Okay. On top of the burner, a lot of water condensate coming yeah, from. Look at the pipe. Um, yeah, in the top. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah the... Yeah. You know, it's been dripping for a while. Yeah. So that's Not terrible. That's go. okay. If it was like something a little more close to the boil, I'd be more concerned, but that's okay. All right, let's check our hot surface igniter resistance. Oh, yeah? Yep. All right. 90 on that. Let's reverse. And let's take out the igniter. Lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. Did this unit come with the house or you, or you had it installed? No, it came with the house. Gotcha. Let's see what you look like, buddy. All right. Pulled out the hot surface igniter with flame rod. She looks brand new. But there's the inside of the heat exchanger. 
and they said they just cleaned it. You're not going to be able to salvage this. So I took a look at the top of the heat exchanger, and you have covered with, you know, rust and what dried up water residue it's originating from the inner exhaust pipe on the two pipe system um uh, i took yep 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 i took out the uh the hot surface igniter and flame rod assembly uh, my resistance on the hot surface igniter is around 90 ohms i use a video scope to uh, look inside the combustion chamber and the only real word to describe what this looks like is that a black and white cookie exploded inside this thing. I have Lars tech support on the phone and I wanted him to say what he just told me. All right, go ahead, James. Uh, you already spent too much money on that boiler and it's time to stick a fork in it and buy a new boiler, it's not. So all this money spending on a boiler that you're lucky on a good day to get 75% efficiency out of it. You're, you're just throwing money. And so that means 25 cents on the dollar is going right out of your chimney. For every dollar you spend on gas, 25 cents is going out of your chimney. You can buy a new 95 plus where 25 cents on the dollar goes out of your chimney. It's like um, when you build in the extension funnels and rebuild the engine on your Contamination. Cross contamination. Okay, and the way to fix that is to do what? Fix the cross contamination and then rebuild or replace the heat exchanger, the burner itself. Okay. This whole thing here, and that's that's going to be cost prohibitive. You can't clean that. Like what I'm seeing here, you really you you, you can't clean it. You can't you can't get into it, and it'll never be. Even if I were to take this apart, if I could like unweld it and put it back if together. You take that heat exchanger apart now at it at its age, it'll never go back together, ever. You know, when it was new you could take the heat exchanger apart and clean it, but now you'll never get it back together again, ever. And sometimes it's best to get the news directly from the horse's mouth. In this particular case, I called Lars Tech Support. I let myself be their eyes and ears in the field, explain to him what I saw, and let him make the determination on, listen, this thing has been neglected from day one. There's no putting it back together. It needs to be replaced. Can we repair it? Yes, we can replace the vent piping, make sure all the connections are airtight. We can replace the heat exchanger and, you know, theoretically put a new engine in a 18-year-old car. Does that make any sense to you guys? Hmm? So, ladies and gentlemen, the lesson learned here is that if you're going to invest in something like these machines behind me, do not neglect annual service. 15 years old. It's shot, it's dead. It can't even breathe anymore. Cross contamination and lack of maintenance. If you're in the Long Island, New York City metropolitan area, regardless of the box you have on your wall, we service them all. 516-348-6300 or save time, book online at pipedoc.net. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Be well, God bless, stay safe.